We know very well that in virtually every Shi'i household in the world, there is a copy of Ziyarat Ashura. Of course, those copies may be electronic now on our telephones, rather than, for example, in a work of the like of Sheikh Abbas Al-Qummi, or the likes of Ibn Tawus, or the likes of Sheikh Tusi. But a person makes use of the technology that they have. Reality is that a person in a Shi'i household will grow up either listening to Ziyarat Ashura, or reciting Ziyarat Ashura, either once a week or in some cases every day. The likes of, for example, Sheikh Murtad al-Ansari of the scholars of the past and the likes of Ayatollah Sadiq al-Rawhani of the scholars of the present recite Ziyarat Ashura every single day without fail. They don't wait, for example, for a particular vow or a mannat or a nidr to be made. No, on the contrary, they find it of the utmost importance that they send their salutations to the Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, every single day. And they believe that the greatest ziyarah to be recited is Ziyarat Ashura. There are many scholars who will always talk about the fact that when you look at the rewards for reciting Ziyarat Ashura, the rewards in some cases are the highest rewards imaginable and perceivable within Shi'i thought. When you talk of, for example, reciting Ziyarat Ashura is the equivalent of reciting 1, going on 1,000 Hajj, 1,000 Umrah, and attending 1,000 battles with the Prophet and the Imams of Ahlul Bayt, salawatullah wa salamu alayhim. It highlights to you the greatness and the significance of the Ziyarah. Because for Shi'i households, we know very well that you'll always have one story or another about how Ziyarat Ashura helped you in a particular difficult situation. You made a pledge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I will recite a salutation, part of the Mazar literature, in honor of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam and in honor of those who fell on the plains of Karbala. But Ya Allah, I ask you that when I recite this to fulfill my hajat, for example, that I have certain hajat which I really would like fulfilled. So you'll find that some people may recite Ziyarat Ashura for 40 nights in a row without fail. And this is not something random. This is something where you'll find that ulama of the past would swear by. Ulama of the past would discuss Ziyarat Ashura, the merits of Ziyarat Ashura. One only has to look at the works of Tustari and the works of the likes of Bahr al-Uloom and others who talk about the greatness of Ziyarat Ashura. And that's why the emphasis of the likes of Ayatollah Shubari Zanjani and others on focusing on Ziyarat Ashura and its merits and its reliability can be seen.